What's going on, guys? It's Wombro. I'm sorry about my voice. Ever since I started smoking, it got a little bit more raspier. Um, we have waited some time now for this video. We wanted to make sure nothing new was added, and if more things are added in the store next season, I'll make sure to add it within my future videos. Excuse me for the emergency. Today's video is an in-depth guide on the Wombat Dungeon Master shop and each item. Wombro will break down each item and read the original description and talk about if it's worth getting or not. The first thing I will make clear out of my entire experience playing this community, I've noticed that when Baytiums are the least talked about thing within the game that I see. I haven't seen any real use out of these things yet. Maybe I haven't delved deep enough into the game and I can understand that, but even without owning any of the one Baytiums, but I recently bought a pallet one Baytium, I could still give a clear explanation on what they are, what they do, and when you should consider using slash getting them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see an item shop push next season. Um, I'm not really seeing anything right now, but that's fine. I have a different mindset. Maybe not. I don't know. This this line, I'm just not going to talk about. Season 4 will be a brand new take for Wombro. We will start using our critique mindset and say things how they should straight forward from now on. You've probably noticed a shift in my social activity. Well, well you know, we've already talked about this. Um, yeah, but uh, as of right now, I'm in Oregon. And I think you know about my situation. So what you remember Wombra as, the things he did for previously before making the Wombra Preems initially in the starting museum, he saw opportunity and potential for his brand new mobile game. This brand new mobile game. Now that I have a foundation, it's up to the community to drive the path where they want the game to go. Hence why I'm asking for the community development voting or something among these lines. Why would I Wombro know better than to tell... Sasha, a nice dev, to stress and say add more. Add more. <clears throat> no, I want peace and a smooth development. If you ask for more things, it's just going to slow things down. So I'd rather have a realistic, implementable content than risky, buggy, vol uh, volatile content. The last thought I have before I start talking about the Wombatiums is where you can see Wombat Dungeon Master at the end of the year. I can't tell if this if it's the market that controls the direction of the game or how the devs are making things. Creating for this game has a whole new variable compared to basic AAA titles I created four years ago. So now we're going to go on to all the one Baytiums. So number one is uh, Fairy one Baytium. This one Baytium is used to blend a common level 5 item to a rare level 1 item of the same type. Very straightforward on this. Mathematically how I see it, it takes quite some time to level even in a common to level 5, meaning that taking the time to get it to level 5, then buying the one Baytium and blending just makes no sense, especially if you were to blend deeper with the commons and used more level 1 commons to level out, level the common all the way to level 5. Number 2, Blossom, <clears throat> excuse me, Blossom on Baytium. Empowers you to blend three standard packs into a silver pack. This isn't that bad. You think about paying for it. I will say this one comes down to preference. Do you want more items with lower rarity chance or spend more for a silver or gold pack, silver pack that's already affordable enough? It's really up to you. Beast one Batium. A golden pack will be your reward when you blend this with five silver packs. Again, sounds good until the price of it. Golden packs, though, are a bit more pricey, so it's the five silver packs... So is five silver packs. This is almost feeling like you are using randomness to your advantage. Ultimately, whatever path you decide, the main point of this is to obtain a mythic. What chance will you take to get that? Uh, number four for Burj Wombatium. Blend this with a candle, level five, and three gold packs to get a platinum pack with a guaranteed mythic. Kind of exploitable. So what do I mean when I say kind of exploitable? You can force a mythic. Whales are exploiting this for sure and profiting <clears throat> profiting that. Um, so if I had unlimited resources, I would make full uranium. I'd make a full uranium dungeon. Five minute runs with an auto clicker. Five minute runs with an auto clicker. Consistently collecting Faberge Wombatiums. Either flip profit or force mythics. I may be freestyling at this point. I could elaborate more if I wanted to. Number five, clear blue Wombatium. This Wombatium lets you use the rotate slot blend. Combine two items of the same level <clears throat> and type to get one from another slot. Once again, pure randomness. If you make another item that involves RNG, then I will assume you are simply out to confuse your customers, which at a game developer standpoint can generate money because mystery. 
Number six, Dragon Womb ATM. Use the Dragon Womb ATM as a joker to easier level up your equipment. This is the biggest meme of them all, but it has chances. Um, I would actually suggest this product, but I would use it at the end of uh, level of the level the item you blended it with. Atomic Womb ATM. This uh, Womb ATM uh, to modify the atoms of your equipment and make an addition to item out of your addition one items hidden gem so aside from me thinking that you are trying to confuse your consumer these next two on batiums i see progress when i say progress i mean investment opportunity just like how i saw wombat dungeon master to be a good investment right now i see atomic and pallet one batiums to be the best long-term investment opportunity for all players in game number eight pallet one batium this tiny little palette helps you uh, modifying colors of different things. Watch out. We don't know how long this uh, we can keep this at low price. It's in a gem. This is my favorite Wombatium, and I actually bought one all around. Palette Wombatium was the initial reason I wanted a uranium build. The dev team uh, put it right in front of you. Watch out. We don't know how long this we can keep this price. Number nine, name tags. Um, give your cuddly wombat a name. It deserves it. So I'm very close to making a name tag. It has taken so long for me to farm one that I'm making its own video of me buying one. I'm probably not going to make a video anymore. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this party hat. If you want my honest opinion, the party hat is the most valuable item that will be in Wombat Dungeon Master as time goes on. It may have no use now, but in the future, I can only imagine what they will utilize it with and what to... what. It will do for those who held on to one for their wombat. That was today's video. Once again, this too was in my mind for the longest time, and it was waiting for the right moment to share this information without stirring up any type of commotion within the community. So yeah, uh, Green and I really appreciate all the support we've gotten. We are so excited to continue working on things. If you have any questions about the item shop, Please leave a comment and I will respond back to you. We hope you have a wonderful day. We will see you guys later. Peace.